so choosing the right progesterone is also one of the important thing uh, what is the evidence say let's see so oral route compared to vaginal and uh, injectable progesterone so in case of injectable progesterone the intramuscular or subcutaneous injections use sufficient secret secret uh, secretory transformation of the endometrium happens and adverse effects include injection site pain may cause skin uh, irritation inflammations and abscess formation patients will not be uh, have tolerance to pain uh, for repeated injections because we, we need to give injections daily or on a weekly basis uh, vaginal progesterone is well is well tolerated with adequate endometrial secretory transformation transvaginal use of progesterone can uh, one of the uh, side effects is that it causes uh, vaginal irritation discharge and subpatient also has discomfort with administration because they'll be uh, they'll have little phobia to inside uh, inside the vagina so oral administration is the easier to easiest route and generally most acceptable method by the patient but it has its own uh, disadvantages like they'll have nausea or vomiting sensation more with the oral route next so oral route may help uh, uh, circumvent the inconvenience and discomfort related to intravaginal or intra uh, muscular progesterone applications in uh, oral we have oral micronized progesterone and oral didrogesterone but oral didrogesterone is uh, has much uh, uh, more efficacy than compared to oral micronized progesterone in my experience so patient uh, uh, convenience and compliance offered by the oral route has encouraged manufacturers in india to produce more of the oral drugs one such formulation is sustained release formulation of oral micronized uh, micronized uh, progesterone